Hey, it's February and welcome to your monthly news show, Supercar Spin. In this month's show, Ferrari makes a cross between a humpback whale and a car. Porsche creates the 918 race car featuring a flux capacitor. They also paint a 911 black and call it a special edition. Lamborghini releases some even more teasing photos of the Mercedes replacement, the Aventador. The Zonda's replacement has been revealed and it drives like the wind. And we show you how to steal a Ferrari 599. Welcome to the show, my name is Mark and I'm Brendan and this is a show where we sift through the masses of press releases from the automobile world every month and bring you just the most interesting ones around sports cars and supercars. On to the news for this month. First news is from Lamborghini, the LP700-4 or Aventador. Um, some more information has been confirmed by the R&D boss. Confirmed, so, good. Yes, stuff that we already talked about a few months ago has basically been confirmed. So 7 speed auto, it's yep. got a gear change that's as quick as a Formula 1 car almost. Carbon fibre body made by Boeing. Yeah. So extremely stiff. Yep. Uh, 2.9 seconds to 100. Extremely or, stiff, extremely fast. That's right. Uh, the brakes. The brakes on the Aventador are as big as the wheels on a Lotus Elise. So they're uh, 16, 16 inch in inches in the front. Yeah. Yeah, and 15 inch in the rear. So, so the very brakes big are brakes. as big as an actual set of actual wheels on yes, a Lotus Elise. Yes, that's right. Huge. So amazing. And the new suspension system. Yeah. which you can see in the images now, it's F1 inspired. Yeah, I've been reading a bit about that. It's quite interesting because they're inboard suspension, just like you find on a Aston Martin 177 or a KDM crossbow where the uh, linkages go up and then the uh, the, the actual suspension uh, shocks are mounted horizontally, horizontally in yeah. the engine bay. So it's uh, very clever and just like on a race car. Yeah, it's good. And uh, it's been confirmed the event at all for release it's actually going to release it in Geneva. In Geneva, excellent, good, good, yes. to, good tonight. Debut, yes, finally. And so next news is from Ferrari. They've released a new car. It's called the FF. Uh, it's the replacement for the uh, Scagatelli Six Twelve. Six Twelve Scagatelli. Um, yep. So FF uh, basically means Ferrari Four. It's four wheel drive. Uh, it has four seats, and uh, well, another four. It's forty seven fifty three rear weight bias. So it's quite evenly uh, weighted there. But this is uh, pretty new for Ferrari, isn't it? A four-seater with... And uh, four-wheel drive. And four-wheel drive, yeah. Four-seaters. Have a yeah, look at these have. photos, though. It's uh, the, the back of it is a little bit kind of... Um, I don't know. Not It's not sitting that well with a lot of the Ferrari fans. It's we've, a we've very seen M3 the coupe style, isn't it? Yeah, the back does look like an M3 I like coupe. it. I think it's, it's quite good. I love the front. I think the front looks hot as. It's really really nice and modern, modern Ferrari look really does look good it's got a brand new engine as well it's a 6.3 litre direct injected V12 uh, front mounted so it's in the front like the 612 yep uh, it actually has a start stop uh, system just like the Ferrari oh, California did to save fuel that's yep. right make it a little bit more greener uh, however they can <laughs> so it's a new engine it's got uh, new power figures which are 485 kilowatts 500 uh, sorry 650 horsepower that is in the old money yeah uh, very torquey as well, 683 newton meters of torque, which equates to 504 foot pounds of torque. That's a lot. Uh, so it's a, it's a lot, uh, but it's just behind Lamborghini's new V12 from the uh, the Aventador in power and torque. It's okay. a little bit fraction smaller. It's a bit of a heavy beast though. It's 1,790 kilos, which is 65 kilos more than the old 612, 612. it's replacing. Okay. But it's got um, it's got four wheel drive, um, and uh, you know, so it's, it's, yeah, so it's it's acceptable, shall we say? <laughs> Well, so how quick is it to 100 then? Well, it's very quick. It's 3.6 seconds to 100. Um, and that's probably down a lot of it down to the dual clutch gearbox. Yeah. And uh, how really well, quick, isn't it? It's pretty practical as well. Uh, you can actually fold the rear seats down, which is another Ferrari first. Um, when you fold those rear, rear seats down, you get 800 litres of luggage space in the back. So it's semi practical uh, and it's a Ferrari. So yeah. uh, it could wow. be great, great things for this car. Yeah. Next bit of news is from Porsche. The 918 RSR concept has been unveiled at the Detroit Motor Show. So it's basically a 918 Spider, but a racing car version. Mm. So it's got a hard top on it, which means that's interesting. Yeah, it means possibly the they might be making a road going version with a hard top. Yeah, of the 918. Yes, yeah, instead of the Spider, a hard top version. Yeah. yeah, it's got the same electric engine. Um, the V8 motor has been upped by 47 kilowatts or 63 horsepower. Yeah. So up to 563 horsepower. It's more so like a race spec version of it. Yeah. It's, it's, it's a race car. Yeah. It's Six a V8 transmission. Yeah. 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 Paddle shift, uh, rear wheel drive. It uses a kinetic energy stored from 
when it breaks to actually charge the electric motor. That's what you can see in the photos. It looks yeah. like a flux capacitor sitting on the passenger seat or an atomic bomb, as some people have said. It looks <laughs> really weird, all these pipes and cables going into it. But it's actually a very fast spinning flywheel that stores the kinetic energy up uh, from braking and then releases that back to the motors. Okay. Very clever system developed by Porsche. And hopefully safe when it's sitting next to you. Yep. Um, the RSR also has a rear wing front splitter racing tires, everything you'd expect for a, a, race, a race car. car. Yeah, yeah, of course. Some more news from Porsche. Uh, they've released a special edition called the Black Edition. And no, it's not a hardcore car like the AMG Black Series. It's based on the entry-level uh, Coupe and Cabaret models. Okay. So it keeps the same 254 kilowatt or yep. 340 horsepower 3.6 litre engine. Um, this basically just is, it's a special edition because of the, the colour. It's black. It's available in any colour as long as it is black. And on the interior is... Yeah, it basically uh, it's all black on the interior, black badging, black steering wheel, uh, black and on the outside, seals. black door seals, <laughs> uh, black wheels. It's just black, everything yeah. black. So uh, let's uh, see if uh, uh, Porsche bring out the white edition next month. <laughs> <laughs> all right, next bit of news is from Pagani. The I cannot pronounce it properly. The Horrora has been officially released. <laughs> That's not how you pronounce it. No, either, but yeah, <laughs> it's the Zonda replacement, basically. Um, visually, what do you think? It, yeah, well, it's a bit more fussy, isn't it, the outside compared to the I think it's more streamlined looking, but it, it looks very really? aerodynamically focused. Well, certainly, uh, I agree with what some people have said. The front bottom, the front uh, splitter looks a bit like a bottom feeder, as in it's, <laughs> it feeds off the bottom of a fish tank or something, because it's yeah. very open and weird, like, uh, but it's to house the uh, the aerodynamics you're looking Yeah, at. yeah, there's some aerodynamic flaps that are hidden in the front grille, and basically they're con adjusted automatically from the ECU. Mm. So in a corner, for example, the inside edge um, would activate to increase downforce and limit body roll. So yeah. amazing technology. Yeah, very, very clever. And it's got cars. so much torque, isn't it, compared to the Zonda? Well, it's, it's, it's a, a V12, V12 and yeah. it's by turbo though. So yeah. the old Zonda was V12, but this has got two turbos slapped on, so. So that's why it can uh, get to such an amazing top speed of 370 k's, because uh, right. it's got so much torque compared to the old model. Yeah. Interesting to see uh, what it's going to sound like, because a Zonda without, with turbos might sound a bit strange. Well, yeah, the videos that we've already seen it sounded a bit strange, but um, yeah, we'll wait to see proper videos, I think, before we speculate. Zero to 100, 3.2. So very quick, very quick. Thirteen hundred and fifty kilos, very light. Yeah, very light, very quick. Much very lighter than the Ferrari FF we were looking at earlier. Yes, that's right. Seven. Yeah, but two two seats less, mind you. Yes, so yeah. can't wait to see more about that. Yeah, good. And yeah, lastly, we were saying how how you can steal a Ferrari five nine. Well, these guys did it certainly. From the uh, ousted uh, Tunisian president Ben Ali, Ben Ali, uh, he probably won't be needing his yellow Ferrari five nine nine anytime soon. Uh, seeing he's probably running out of the country. Um, and these guys uh, very cleverly used a bit of uh, grey matter and used a 10 tonne plus industrial pickup uh, to pick up the, the his car and run off of it, basically. Like a big forklift, yeah. Yeah, big forklift, yeah. Um, there was a local TV crew spotted them driving down the motorway and got the TV camera and filmed them. And you can <laughs> see they're very pleased with themselves, both thumbs up, uh, driving down the motorway with a nice Ferrari 599. Yeah, with a the Ferrari, front of their, not in one, yeah. No, yeah, <laughs> on, with a Ferrari on the front of their tractor. Yeah. Um, you know, uh, it's basically stealing it. Yeah. Um, also, uh, some of his uh, previous subjects of um, were found trashing his Ferrari California as well, which was they it's didn't even sight, yeah. they didn't even try and drive it out of the garage. It's still in the garage, and uh, they just trashed it, took all the badges off and everything. And it's, it's pretty sad, but uh, you know, that's the power to the people, I guess. Yeah. Well, that's all the best bits of the news for this month. Don't forget you can subscribe to us on our YouTube channel and also on iTunes for free. Just search for the word Supercar Spin. Remember, you can watch this episode and all the previous shows in HD on YouTube. So that's all from us, from me, Mark. And from Brendan. We'll see you next month.